Supreme Court of India intervenes in violent hate speech against Muslims. So, well, I'll read the prompt and then we'll get into it. On January 12th, India's Supreme Court announced it will petition to seek the prosecution of several Hindu leaders for making highly inflammatory speeches against Muslims at closed door meetings back in December 2021. Atheist Republic previously discussed these extremely worrying speeches in which several Hindu leaders urged the audience to, if necessary, take up arms, uh, kill people, and do whatever it takes to make India a Hindu-only nation. YouTube, this is not what we believe. We are talking about other people's beliefs. Okay. Um, the court has told the state government of Uttarakhand that they will be launching an investigation into the grave matter. The first arrest related to this investigation occurred when Wasim Rizvi, formerly a prominent, prominent Shia Muslim who recently converted to Hinduism, was arrested on January 14th for his incendiary statements during the speeches that directly incited violence against the Muslim minority of India. So I wanted to cover this story because these hate speeches that happened in Delhi and Hardivar um, received a huge amount of attention. The fallout from them has been ongoing. And also because we um, talk about a lot of worrying stuff that comes out of India, I also wanted to highlight and cover when there is some appropriate action in motions being taken, right? Um, so, um, what I thought was really interesting is when we first reported this on our website, there had been no arrests related to the specific investigation that had happened yet. There had been some other arrests of um, some of the speakers um, that had happened kind of slightly more in I isolation or if specific FIRs were filed against them. But in terms of, so then when I was researching today, I found out that just, what 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 day is it? Yeah, just yesterday, the first of the arrest due to this investigation actually happened. Um, and Wait, so so liberal Bengali Hindu is saying to no one, none of them arrested. So you're actually, you have you have more updated information than liberal Bengali Hindu. Somebody has been arrested, huh? Yes. So oh, what's wow. interesting is that the person who- You have better arrested... information than people in India. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No. Um, so the person who was first arrested um, in regards to this specific investigation um, was, well, his given name is Wasim Rizvi, but he recently converted to Hinduism and changed his name to uh, Jitrendra Narayan uh, Tiagi, or just I'll Nailed just refer him as Tiagi. But, um, oh, wait, just a second. I'll get to that in a second. Um, so, um, what's so interesting about Tiagi is that he was this very prominent um, Shia Muslim who was a member of the Walk Board and actually, you know, had to give commentary about Islamic issues. And then literally only like six weeks ago, like six weeks ago, he converted to Hinduism, changed his name. And within like three weeks after he left Islam, and went to Hinduism, he was making these speeches that incited violence against muslims it's so crazy um yeah just went from a z from zero to a hundred in like no time right like I, that, um, that's what was so wild to me i was like you were a muslim like three weeks ago bro what's wrong with you <laughs> Oh my god! All right, so can I? Okay, I want to make you make a few posts. Okay, first of all, where are all the Hindus in the live chat that told us that this is not a big deal? Okay, because guess what? The Supreme Court of India agrees with us, not you. Where, like, you remember? Remember all the people that were saying that we're highlighting this, and this is like a nothing burger, and this is just like it went to the Supreme Court of India, and they are on our. They apparently. Me, Susanna, and the Supreme Court of India are on the same mind on this. Like, okay, it, it, I mean, it was big enough deal for it to go all the way to the Supreme Court. Okay, so where, where, wait, where's Hendutva Susanna? Like, oh, you guys, Hendutva Susanna, are you here? Speak up, right? Because you were like in the live chat, always saying like, oh, like, why this is not a big deal? This is a fringe group. Okay, so apparently not. Apparently, it's important enough for for this much coverage. Okay, and also, I don't like how it's being called hate speech okay this is 
this was not just hate speech. This was like a direct call for violence, right? This for was genocide. like an ex yeah for not yeah not not just mass execution of people. And this was like that that like I think calling it hate speech makes it seem like we are saying that hate speech should be regulated. Like I don't think like hate like the government should be able to ban hate speech. But this was way beyond hate speech. It, we don't. There's a difference between hate speech and incitement to violence. Let let alone incitement to genocide. Which that's if you exact, Watch the yeah. transcript of these speeches. That's what this was. <laughs> like exactly. That's, that's that exactly is not protected under law. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Like, um, okay. So. People are asking, where, where, see, Hendusa Susanna, where are you? People are like, oh, good point, Armin. Where is Hendusa Hendusa Susanna? Are you here? Tell us, like, um, do you, by the way, no, this also, I, you go on, go on, you go on. There's something I wanted to get into. So I had to get, it has to do with the arrest of Wasim Rizvi or uh, Tiagi. So when he was getting arrested, he happened to be accompanied by this other guy who was one of the worst ones in terms of just the vitriol and violence and just how bad his speech is. He's just a horrible person. Um, his full name is uh, Yati, man, this is uh, Nar, Narsing, Narsing Hanand. I'm just gonna call him Yati. Nailed it. Okay, for short. No, you nailed it. That's exactly how it's pronounced. I know. Go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, so when Wasim Rizvi was he hap when he got arrested, he happened to be with Yati N, and so when he was there, Yati N was like, I don't know, based on the descriptions of it, he was trying to like boss up and be all alpha and he'd like fall on his sword. He's like, take, take me with him. Like arrest me too. Like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, and then, <laughs> no, see here, here's the, I was with Tiagi when he was arrested, but the police did not take me. He was arrested because he was once a Muslim who converted to Hinduism. This is so that no other Muslims convert to Hinduism, he said claiming that he offered to be arrested as he too was accused. Um, and then he's like, wait, wait, talking. is he saying, is he saying there's a discrimination against people with Muslim background? That's kind he of is saying <laughs> that they, this is a conspiracy I know I because know. he was saying. once a Muslim. This is a conspiracy to make sure that other Muslims are I know, not motivated I am, to convert I'm, to Hinduism. No, I, I was kind of joking about the fact that maybe he's acknowledging that there's a, maybe it's kind of, I was trying to, steel man like suggest that maybe he's like oh maybe you're in, maybe you're suggesting that their people's background um is you know the government you know because we know in india even if you're an ex-muslim because you have a muslim background there's some level of oppression that you still have to deal with right i was like thinking like maybe he's acknowledging that but of course he's not but anyways yeah oh i see what you mean um yeah so then and then after um tiagi got arrested um he was basically threatening to go on hunger strike hmm. he's like i'm 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 wait. not going to eat food or drink water until wait. he's released is that him uh no that's yeah. not him because if it was him i was gonna like maybe you do need to go on <laughs> actually he is he is fat though <laughs> okay, okay. So that's good, he good is, for you is actually do fat. it do it do it that's um good. actually no fasting is not a good way um, yeah, so people are also talking about how, like, it, it was reported within the past 11 to 7 hours that Yati N was also, um, how, he's also been arrested in the, the hate speech case. Um, yes, so they're starting to, it's starting to come down. Okay, let's go, uh, but, well, before we go through the live, uh, some of the start comments, um, I also want to mention that again, some, you know, don't give up completely on in India. Like, look at this, like, this is good thing, right? A lot of people think that we have this black and white view of India, that everything is bad. And then um, other people who are defending, like the people who criticize us, they think like everything is good. And every time we highlight something bad, they think like we're trying to portray as everything that is bad, but we, we, we take time to celebrate good things that happen in India, right? Like we we acknowledge that the police in Uttar Pradesh did a good job, right? Uh, and look, the Supreme Court of India is also doing a very good job here in call, like 
this is this shows that you know you can just claim that india is has com is completely has completely lost its ways right you can't you can't just go out and just call up you know the supreme court agrees that calling for genocide is is a no no <laughs> still, still that's a no no in india still so that's good right don't give up in india this is a, this is fantastic thank you so much the supreme court of india um all right, so let's go to some start comments. Do you want to read this? Yes, Katie is saying, yeah, the main guy, uh, Yati N, was arrested less than 24 hours ago. He made genocidal comments a lot even before this event. And, okay. Uh, random Buddhist guy is saying these speeches are common and, uh, and no. unprosecuted in India, unfortunately. Okay, okay. I know these speeches are common, but this is, even by the hateful speeches standards of these these groups of people this was still way above that okay like a lot of these speeches are hateful are bigoted but this one this one was a bit this one was different okay this one was like calling for mass genocide it was it went well, and beyond people get oaths yes to do whatever is necessary yes. to make india a hindu rashtra like yes e yeah, this was like we've seen those other speeches that are common and they're really hateful, they're really bigoted, but this one was like even by that standard, this was this was different. Okay, but let's go to this one. Um, Katie is also saying, true, I was very uncomfortable with calling it hate speech, and I hated how most of the leftists in India are calling it hate speech. Like it is right. way worse than, than simply hate, hate speech. speech. If it was only hate speech, it shouldn't have been criminalized. It should have just been called out as bad, okay? Um, it, I mean, that's my opinion, right? Um, but yeah, this was not just hate speech. This one, another Katie comment. Um, Katie is saying, well, there would be arrests. There's also a high chance of the going free because of BJP. I, I'm making no promises about how this is going to pan out, right? But I will appreciate a positive step forward while it's here. Mm. And here's Hindu for Susanna. Oh boy. Hindu for Susanna is saying, meanwhile, Muslim politicians who called for a Hindu genocide last week is still roaming uh, free. Oh, is still roaming free. Hail secularism. Okay. First of all, if there's, I would be interested in talking about this on the show. If you could like send a credible source about this. Um, yeah. If it's this, what's the name of this guy? It's like Owasi or something. People always bring up him. He sounds just like a piece of shit and a real piece of work. So um, I actually need to go um, study what his actual comments were and how recently they happened, because mm. if it's as bad as what people are telling me, yes, this person should 100% be prosecuted as well. Yeah, well, Hendrix for Susanna, did you submit this story into our Discord in the suggested story, or are you just here to complain and do what about is it, right? If you want us to cover this, like we provided you a way for you to suggest stories to us to cover, have you submitted this story? Because we, we have mentioned this many times that that's the way to su submit stories. Or are you just here to complain? Be like, why are you not talking about this? Well, did you suggest that? Okay. Also, we have to make sure that the sources are credible. Like, I mean, we, I say we as if I'm doing uh, the work. Uh, if Susanna is doing all the research. Thank you, <laughs> Susanna. Like, the, Susanna has to check actually if it's credible because, you know, it can be just one of these, like, yeah. Anyways, you know what you're talking about. Yeah, a lot of people uh, submit stories that are um, more uh, stories that are like a right-leaning Indian audience would want yes. promoted. And to be fair, I do actually go look into those stories to see if that's something that we should cover because a lot of times I, I do find it interesting. And yeah. a lot of those stories just don't seem credible or they don't hold up under the spotlight. So I don't cover them like because- Like OP India, right? OP. I would never, I would never cover anything from OP India. Yeah, if if your only source for something like this is OP India, then like, yeah, <laughs> we're not. We need some better sources to be able to cover that. Yeah, Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 